your feel good breakfast show it's espresso on s3 you're just in time because we know that a child who is hungry is no good in the classroom and this morning we're putting a spotlight on a remarkable initiative aimed at addressing child malnutrition and fostering community spirit now today we are joined by yolanda jones the program director of ladles of love to discuss their inspiring mandela day campaign yes yes sister <laughs> you look gorgeous you came on Thank good you. day yes it's um, amazing here today um, love the vibe uh, well you you bring a part of the vibe yeah don't we <laughs> and you always do so I, i'm you. gonna highlight something here because my understanding of ladles of love changed dramatically on a day that i was at mar lillian's grow patch oh, in yeah? athlone okay now she's a community anyone who knows or knows invested her life savings into creating this grow yeah. patch so that she could sustain her community and i'm watching raw ingredients go out ladles of love dropping off finished meals this one dropping off kids i'm watching this economy yeah this ecosystem, ecosystem yes. turning without any money. Yeah. Are you magicians? Are you alchemists? How Listen. are you able to do and reach as many people as you do with the complete, let's just say, lack of months. funding in your space? Yeah. Listen, we call on people. We can only do this with the connectedness between communities, yeah. whether it be corporates, whether it be individuals. It's really difficult, I have to say. We're not even going to try and say it is, it is easy. Yeah. It is difficult, but people come together together and we make magic happen oh. exactly like anything yeah. worthwhile it absolutely. must be challenging yeah absolutely and i love yeah. that so what have you got planned for mandela day oh. We have big <laughs> yeah. plans. We have big plans. I mean, you spoke about malnutrition. People don't understand the magnitude thereof. It is children who are too light for their height, too light for the age, too short mm. for the age. And all of these things come from poor diet. So when we put our Mandela Day together, it is an all-encompassing program. It is addressing the child physically. It is addressing the child cognitively. We are making crafted items for the children to do develop them uh, fine motor skills, gripping of items For that helps sure. them to write better, to draw better, to be able to dress themselves. And it's amazing to think that these small actions leads up to healthy kids that can contribute to our society. Mm -hmm. I'm a parent, so I understand absolutely yeah. perfectly. And I understand what an OT costs. I understand <laughs> what a, a good set of books costs. Yeah. I understand what a good school costs. Yeah. I understand how much of a mountain there is to climb in that space but I've also seen this complete when I talk about turning lead into gold yeah. just that time spent in this place mentoring and Absolutely. adapting a child to that suddenly you're processing trauma you're doing right. amazing things yeah this year's approach for Mandela Day speaks to a different level of action <laughs> yeah what is different this year because it feels like there is more going on here than just feeding hungry bellies there is a lot more going on the first thing that I absolutely love about this Mandela Day we have our locations in Cape Town and Johannesburg but we're taking it global. Yeah. So wherever you are, with whatever you have, you are able to do an activation station. Uh, we are recruiting families from New York, from, from other countries, because we want people to be able to contribute to the local communities. But people are coming in, they are packing nutrition packs, they are making sandwiches, which is a healthy nutritional snack for children. They are doing squish toys, which with the gripping oh, and the brilliant. manipulation helps with uh, fine motor skills. Sure. They are doing crafting, they are doing blocks, they are doing bean bags, they are doing coloring books and posters for our ECDs, because our children are our future we hear it so many times and it's yeah. become a cliche to so many people but it is our reality unfortunately and so when we can address holistically the growth and development of a child isn't that something that we'd want to partner with definitely well, you have to. it's a gateway if we miss that gateway yeah. in terms of the, the the growth and development of a child at that critical phase Correct. you condemn them for the rest Absolutely. of their life there's so, so much stunting that happens <sighs> and and we don't see it linked to nutrition unfortunately but if someone is not developing physically they are not developing cognitively so much has to do with nutrition it and the availability of resources in our centers so we are addressing nutrition but we are also addressing and making available to them these resources because that after you've done it and after you've paid your ticket just so you know because you haven't asked yet the tickets are only 200 rand and they besides you coming in and being able to give your 67 minutes you are giving automatically 40 meals for wow. that for that 200 
200 rand, but also the resources that you're going to be crafting with your own hands are going to be it's distributed love. to our ECD. It's love in action. And, and you don't understand how that love gets infused in every step of this process and yes. makes its way into the heart of the child who receives Absolutely. it. I've seen this play out in thousands of moments like these, yeah. just not on this level. You guys have come of age and you've earned that right. So more power to oh, you, my friend. Thank you, thank um, you. We're going to keep their details up. Ladles of love.org.za if you're looking for passion purpose to hang your hat on right now as a big corporate so you can lean on all of that hard work go and do it